On the build show today, we're talking about how to build a beautiful deck, especially one that has a view like this, and do it over top of waterproofing, maybe even with a living space below. On the build show today, I'm gonna show you a decking system for building a deck on top of a waterproofed area. Now let me set the scene for you. We're building this house here on beautiful Lake Austin. We're working with Shiflet Group Architects who did an incredible design here. And I love this space right here. When you walk out onto this deck, you're coming either from a bedroom or you're coming from this upstairs living room space. And look at this view, gorgeous lake view. This is actually a constant level lake. In the summertime, you'll have ski boats coming by here. This is gonna be a really fun deck to be able to pop right onto. And the architect absolutely nailed the details. And we spent a bunch of time with them in pre-construction, making sure that we could get this to look exactly what they wanted to. So what we're talking about today is how to build that deck and really get the details. We're gonna be specifically using Bison's products today. And let me show you about how these details work. So first, the waterproof deck itself. When you've got a deck like this, you basically are building a bathtub on the outside of the house. This is a flat roof. And then these walls behind me, these short walls, these are referred to as parapet walls. So when you walk out of the house, where so the deck is actually gonna be flush at the threshold, and then you're gonna end up at this parapet wall. Now we will have a railing that's gonna come on top of this for safety reasons. So we'll have a railing up to guardrail height here. But you'll notice specifically this epe comes all the way to the stucco on the parapet wall. So you're not actually gonna see any of the waterproofing when this deck is complete. The waterproofing acts as a bathtub underneath me, and you can drain that in two ways. Now, this, this roof specifically is a TPO roof, and we have two systems to get the water off. We've got some scuppers, and a scupper is basically a hole in the parapet wall. And then we've also got some drains. It's kind of like the drain plug at the bottom of a bathtub. So we actually have two systems, and then we've got some sloping on this deck. So any water that falls onto the deck is gonna go through these deck boards and run ultimately out of this area. Now, a couple things you wanna notice, what we're doing here is we're using these bison standoffs on each corner and one in the center support. And then on top of that, we're laying on these two foot by four foot EPE panels. Now, I understand they also make this in some different sizes, uh, two foot by two foot, but I love how these panels are 100% EPE and then these plastic deck spacers, which actually stand off the TPO, they're not physically connected to the roof. So there's no penetrations. There's no concern with us messing with the waterproofing underneath. But ultimately when we're done, this is really gonna give a lot of protection for the deck from UV rays. And that's something I really like about this system. Waterproof decks in general, don't do well with UV rays in long-term durability. So a deck like this, if it was left uncovered, would probably need to be replaced in about 20 years or so. Whereas if we put this bison standoff system, we're gonna at least double that life, if not longer. Now, a couple other details I wanna mention. I mentioned we've got a flush transition between the inside and the outside. We're able to achieve that by making a small curb on the outside of the door here in front of me. And then you'll notice that the EPE is gonna slide right underneath the threshold. Now we've got a step down. It's really important anytime you do a waterproof deck to have a step down in height between the inside and the outside. And you'll see that stainless pan that we made for the door has a lip that steps down over top of the TPO. So any water that comes down there is gonna hit that stainless pan and then gravity is gonna run it out and down and take it off this waterproof deck. A couple other details I wanna mention on this and some things that I really like about this system compared to a traditional system is that we can actually remove these panels. You know, think about a traditional system for a deck over this waterproofing. In years past when I did a deck like this, I put sleepers down. That's typically a ripped two by material, like a pressure treated two by four, that you've ripped it to match the slope so it's a level at the top and then it's got an angle cut on the bottom that you're gonna rip the full length of this deck and then as you put the deck boards on, you're gonna screw the deck boards to that, but that's typically not adhered to the, to the uh, waterproofing below. It's free floating. Now the problem with that system is, if you ever need to get in there, you've gotta unscrew all those screws for that deck. And let's say when you do need to replace that roof in 30 or 40 years, you're gonna to have to basically take the entire deck apart and put it all back together. It's gonna to be really hard to do that. And you're probably gonna have a fair amount of rot 
in your pressure treated material during that period of time as well because it's going to be sitting on the TPO where the water is and typically I see those rot long before the roof needs to get, get changed out. So in this system we've got nothing but EPA on the top. And then we've got these plastic standoffs, which plastic I am concerned about the sun's rays. However, these are totally buried underneath there. I think they're gonna get very little slash no sun. So we shouldn't have a problem with those breaking down. And they come in a, a couple of different sizes. And you, you need to actually spend the time thinking about what you need because they make these in kind of low, medium, high, so to speak. They're all adjustable for both height and for the tilt or cant that you need. But a typical carpentry crew who's used to doing deck work like my guys, we can put the deck together like this in just a couple of days. And it's that service that I love about it. So for instance, this deck board right at my feet here, let's think about this one. It's screwed down with just one screw on each corner. So this deck panel, if I needed to access this and let's say clean out a drain underneath, I would just unscrew four screws. This entire panel would come off. I could do whatever work I need to put it right back down, there'd be no damage, no visible screws, nothing. Beautiful system. One thing I do wanna mention though is ePay, as chocolatey and as gorgeous as it looks today, does require a lot of maintenance if you wanted to keep this chocolatey color. So when you see this deck, remember this is gonna go gray and it'll typically gray out in kind of that six months to maybe 24 months time period, depending on how much sun it's getting. If this was used in a soffit underneath, it would stay chocolatey brown forever. But because this is exposed to the sun and as little maybe as six months, this is gonna go gray. So if you want this chocolatey appearance, every single year you're gonna have to throw maintenance to it. On the other hand, if you're okay with that gray look, this deck is gonna last many, many decades. It'll be gray and gorgeous and you won't have anything to do to maintain it. Guys, a link for Bison will be in the description below. They don't sponsor the show. I just really like this system. and I thought this would be of interest to you guys. For more on this particular project, follow my Twitter or my Instagram feed. There'll be a link in the description below. And if you're not currently a subscriber to The Build Show, we publish every Tuesday and every Friday. Click that, click that link below so you can hit subscribe. And then when we get a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.